So I just finished the first installment in a Singaporean mystery series I kind of stumbled onto and I'm very happy with it. Um, it is the Auntie Lee mystery series and the first book here is Auntie Lee's Delights. And I use the audiobook cover because it looks a lot better. Here it is again. Um, I read it as an ebook. It is by author Ovidia Yu. So Ovidia Yu was initially known as a pretty pl prolific playwright in Singapore. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, this book's the first in the Auntie Lee mystery series. She's also written another series I'm interested in starting soon that's set in 1930s Singapore called the Crown Colony series. So considering I really like this book, it's good to know there's going to be more to come. Um, and she is still currently publishing. The only other thing set in Singapore I've read is Crazy Rich Asians. And if you liked that, the setting's not that different here. Auntie Lee is kind of like a messy Agatha Christie. Um, she is very well to do. And she got some of her coin running Auntie Lee's Cafe. Yes, rest assured, there are recipes in the back. Um, or there was, there's one recipe anyway. I can't wait to try it. These shots are all over the place. I cannot get the phone holder to stay still. There were a few corny lines or moments here and there, but honestly, it's almost a prerequisite for a cozy. Um, so I went ahead and gave it a uh, full five stars. I thought the pacing was really good. Um, all the characters were either likable or their unlikability was, you know, it kept things interesting. The novel also manages to keep a pretty light tone while tackling some really heavy themes. Um, the novel was written in 2014, but that will surprise you. It it deals with really bad discrimination um, against, you know, the LGBTQ community. Um, you herself is described as openly gay, but she might know, um, to this day, same-sex marriage is illegal in Singapore. So, you know, what seems like kind of standard for books here now, it, she's actually considered pretty controversial over there. Um, it also tackles you know, the treatment of um, migrant-like domestic servants, which more people here should know about, as well as racism from Westerners, racism between ethnic groups there. And it also tackles sexism, but I'm pretty much out of time. So yeah, five out of five. I'll talk more about it later.